Hey guys, my name is Carissa. Welcome to my channel, Flavored Vivid. Uh, today we are going to be doing the love reading for my Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? It just was not meant for you, and there's other great readers here on YouTube. I'm at the way that I conduct my readings is recent past, present, future, subconscious blockage, and spirits advice in the situation, okay? Um, let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Well, spirit agrees to jump right into it, okay? No fuckery here. All right, so recent past energy, we have the true love card, and it is reversed. And what I'm getting here is that you really feel like somebody is your true love, or you thought that somebody was your true love. You were confused if somebody was your true love. I'm getting a few different things here. Yeah, you were getting to know somebody, Aries, um, again. They just said the word again. Um, and just realizing that this person's just not meant for you. They're not a good person or they're just not aligned with your morals and everything. Yeah. Uh, however, you were trying to keep an open mind in this situation um, because you know that they were a soul partner of yours or somebody that you were meant to meet. So you were trying to be open minded to this situation. Okay. Um, current energy is retreat so right now you're kind of in like this hermit mode you're rebuilding your confidence in yourself you're trying to figure out who you are what you want in life okay focusing on your children here a lot of you guys are definitely putting a lot of focus into your kids um we have let your friends help you in the reverse here though so what i'm getting from that is that you're not talking to anybody about this, okay? About your feelings. It was kind of like a secret. Like you kept this person a secret here. Um, so, but in the current energy, we have make the effort and deception. So, okay. All right. This is not going to resonate with everybody. I can tell right off the bat, which is fine. Okay. Somebody is going to need to hear this. Um, somebody had a third party situation that they kept a secret um, because they, didn't, they weren't sure. Okay. They were in love with somebody else, uh, somebody that they possibly had kids with okay and I'm saying they like this could be you or this could be your partner Aries I mean take things as they resonate however um you tried making an effort into this situation and your you there could be some lies or manipulation okay but for the rest of you okay don't click out too quickly for the rest of you here um there is a situation going on where you're having problems within a household because you think somebody's lying to you and they're not okay so we kind of got two different timelines here however just pick your timeline all right pick your side you know where you're at and they're asking you to make an effort into this make an effort into your household into your love life and into what you want for yourself okay i just heard the world is your so whatever that means to you like this is your opportunity it's your window of opportunity you can do anything that you want with this situation here yes forgiving and learning is in the future here for my aries sun moon rising and venus future energy for my aries and love sun moon rising and venus a wedding card is here so you're definitely in a stable relationship here or you're wanting to get married to this person you want to live with this person uh however uh it resonates for you but you're trying to like watch for red flags here it's like you're on alert <laughs> okay you know meerkats like i don't know why i just saw a meerkat so like you know how meerkats like stand out of their hole and they're like looking around prairie dogs prairie dogs are meerkats I might be mixing, are those the same animal? I look really dumb right now, okay? Let's just pretend this never happened. This is between me and you, Aries, okay? Or me and you, cross watchers, all right? So, I swear I'm not stupid. <laughs> Or am I? Just kidding. Um, engagement card though, okay? So yeah, you definitely want to be in a relationship here. Your relationship is going to um, ascend to just a higher level of commitment, a, a deeper level of love and and awakening within each other, okay? More of a soul connection. Show me the subconscious blockage, please, for my Aries and love. For my Aries and love here. Thank you. Past life relationships. So this could, you could have been returning to an ex, like you can return into you know baby daddy baby mama type of situation and restarting it okay um it is safe for you to love is in the reverse here in your subconscious blockage so you really feel like it's not safe for you to love this person you feel like this person's gonna screw you over um or you just not very trusting of the situation spirits advice here is playfulness like to re-establish playfulness a lot of people have been getting this card okay um, and for me personally, as a reader, this playfulness card is honestly like having strength and tapping into that inner child and seeing things from a fresh perspective, a new perspective. It's kind of like the hangman, but 
reversed, you know, where you are like, oh, I've got that enlightenment now. I know now. All right. And chemistry, you and this person have a lot of chemistry together, but you've got to rebuild on it um, and recreate it together, you know, recreate your life together. And in only, only seek after what you want. We've got new love here. Yeah. A new way of loving, a new way of being for those of you now that were in a third party situation. Um, I feel like you've ended the third party situation. The only reason that you stayed in it was because of the children. And that was the way that you were deceiving yourself. Okay. Future energy is you were, you're trying to observe this new person here. Okay. You, you're watching them. You're getting to know them. It's like, you're not talking much. I'm not going to lie. It's a very scorpionic type of energy um i'm a scorpio moon so I, I like i get that like wanting to be mysterious and quiet and not really telling people what's going on with you i'm just observing right we we tend to observe a lot and that's what i'm getting like a real scorpionic type of energy here i'm observing this new person and trying to figure them out so you can create a game plan around that um, this is a new way for you to love though, a new love language that you've never spoken before, okay? And there's that trust card that I mentioned. It did come out in the reverse here for Spirit's advice. So it, Spirit's advice is to trust your own intuition and trust yourself in this situation, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have romantic feelings and thy reversed. In thy, that doesn't make sense in the reverse okay so let's go ahead and throw some tarot on this and figure out what is going on here get some more details in here we've got a few different timelines so i'm curious as to what is going to come out here um let's see what is going on with my aries love sun moon rising and venus if you could please clarify this what is going on in the current energy why is the make the effort here with the deception card in the reverse why are the children here? Why are the children involved? Don't involve children. <laughs> Just kidding. Always involve children. Think about your kids. Don't go around being a hoe and bring in all these hoe-ass thought tendencies to your house, you know? Don't do that. Don't do that. Think about your kids. All right. We've got Page of Swords here. So, yeah, you're definitely communicating quickly, harshly. This could be petty communication. This could be quick communication, immature communication with somebody else here. Ace of Wands. Somebody else that, you know, you might have had like a wand night stand with, right? With that wand card there, okay? I didn't get the Knight of Wands. I got the Ace of Wands, which is normally a passionate new beginning. But with the Page of Swords, I feel like you're arguing with somebody here over like a wand night stand um you're just like you realizing that you don't want to put all of your eggs into one basket here um the full card in reverse yeah you don't want a new beginning with this person ace of cups you're gonna follow your heart and go after only what you do want and the magician reverse i feel like there's a bit of a manipulative energy either within you aries or around you two of cups um because you're dealing with a soulmate partner okay um you just want to have this brand new beginning in your love life you know that's that's full of positive emotion you want your own cup to be overflowing with love for this person um <clears throat> and I feel like this is coming out more so about this like third party situation. So if you are the third party and you are seen in Aries and you're cross watching this video, because I feel like there's somebody that is, they definitely did not choose you. Okay. Um, I feel like there was definitely a lot of manipulation though in lies. They, I think that, um, there's just a lot of immaturity here. Page of Wands, also, you could also be younger than the Aries, or Aries, you could be dealing with somebody who's younger than you. And this person is just immature. They're unable to communicate properly, etc. Okay. I'm um, Six of Wands. Oh, yeah, just take my take my drink. You got it. I am Six of Wands here and the future energy with pay attention to the red flag. So, Aries, I think that you were very self aware in this situation and you just realized, like, two plus two equals four and you know that it equals four so why is somebody trying to convince you that it equals you know 12 
it just doesn't make sense, right? Um, and you just kind of are learning to release and let go of that energy, King of Cups, and honor your own emotions, okay? Uh, really see through the illusion here. Yep, see through the illusion. We've got the Ace of Swords here in the upright. Um, coming out, you're getting clarity on this situation. Six of Swords in the reverse, and it's helping you get you back on the right path here um, out of this third party situation. Three of Cups, it's in the reverse here. It's helping you choose uh, three. Not only do we have, see, I knew this was a third party situation. Damn, Aries. Okay, we've got the three of cups and then we've got the three of coins, both of them in the reverse. So Aries, you have definitely made a decision or somebody's made a decision for you. Queen of swords, yeah. Somebody maybe might have made a decision for you here in the in this um, future energy because we do have the queen of swords here. So you and this person are not talking and you could be a little bit depressed or in your feelings or this person can be depressed during the feelings, all right? This was just kind of like a huge tower moment in their life for them to realize this or for you to realize this but it's like an epiphany where you're just like wow okay i i don't want any third party drama here is what i'm hearing i don't want it like i just don't want to deal with it it's not even worth it like i don't even care um yikes i'm not gonna lie okay somebody just wanted to get their dick wet so um whatever that means to you <laughs> all right uh so let's go ahead and get this subconscious blockage here all right, the star card, okay? Wish fulfillment is in the subconscious blockage and um, being unable to use your intuition to get you out of the situation, all right? Eight of coins, you're just kind of like making things harder by placing this judgment on yourself. You're going through this judgment um, phase within your life, okay? You're constantly like, man, I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done that. There's a lot of regret in your subconscious and it's like eating you alive, Aries, okay? Remember, everything can be vice versa. If not, if it doesn't apply, let it fly, okay? Okay, this just isn't for you then. Um, however, it's pretty interesting. I would end up watching it <laughs> just because I'm like, oh my God, Mari, get the damn popcorn. <laughs> get the popcorn, Mari. You see this? All right, let's see. Okay, Knight of Swords here is in the reverse. Yeah, there's just a lot of lies going on. This person would not, okay, uh, you or this person, Aries, um, tend to speak before you think, all right? And when you do that, you end up saying things that you just don't mean. I am saying things that are not true. It's like you want ultimate control here. You don't care if you hurt another's feelings, okay? Or this could be vice versa. This person doesn't care. Yeah, the lover's card is reversed. The king of wands is reversed. And the four of wands came out sideways. And I'm leaving it sideways, okay? Because I feel like this is a choice. Like I said earlier, somebody want to get their wet, right? Um, their eggplant wet, eggplant emoji, hashtag. Um, okay, so they wanted to get their eggplant wet, right? And now they don't want anything to do with the situation. They're like, no, no, I see straight past all this illusion, bullshit, this manipulation. There could have even been like some magic involved here, um, you know, because this is a magician. And if you see him in reverse, like this is real negative, okay? This magician's not nice. They do not play nice. They do not play fair. All right, um, so there could have been some magic involved to ruin the foundation here nine of swords which gave you anxiety because you're like how do i get rid of this toxic energy how do i get rid of this devil card here um spirit is telling you though uh the hangman right the hangman reverse did i not say that the hangman reverse is what i was seeing earlier and it came out here you already have all the clarity that you need on this situation to make your decision and truly walk away okay aries so let me get one more card give me an outcome card here and then i'm gonna go ahead and pull from the love oracle thank you we have got seven of wands. Stand your ground, okay? That's what I heard. Stand your ground here. King of swords. Cut out what no longer is serving you. If it is negative, if it is toxic, things like that, okay? Be honest with yourself. And this guy, he's, you know, he's very, he's taking care. He's very, very logical. He's taking care of his kids, of things that are going to grow, <clears throat> Okay, he's really opening his heart and he's taking care. He's having the strength here to take care of what he needs to. So, also when I say he, um, it, it could be you, you could be a she, right? I mean, the majority of watchers from the um, results here on YouTube are female anyways. It's like literally 90% females. Um, so when I say he, I mean like it could be she or it could be vice versa. Um, just 
take it as it resonates. I usually just say what's on the card. Like we have a Knight of Wands card in the Steampunk Tarot deck and it has a female on it. You know what I mean? So it's just like, I just kind of take it as I see it um, or say it as I see it. I mean, geez, cannot talk today. Don't know what the hell's wrong. All right, Aries, we got some cards immediately. It says, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to your soul. It says, let there be closeness between you, but give each other space. Love never is Never, love never claims it simply allows and gives we've got embrace through each other you'll find the missing pieces and don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do for it is only being true to yourself that you can be true to others okay acceptance is key to inner peace at times we must accept things as they are there is no point in trying to change what is beyond our control top of the deck reflection it says give each other some space at the moment trust and have faith that it'll all work out for the best i am so, you know, it, they're just asking for you to have faith in the situation. I'll be so judgmental on yourself. Understand that karmic justice is going to come in the situation and everybody's going to be aligned with what they need to be aligned with. Okay, so just relinquish your control here, Aries, of this like third party situation that is going on. All right. Um, and when I say third party, I, I should probably make a video clarifying that. When I say third party, third parties don't always mean romantic, okay? Yes, I did say get your dick wet, right? I said that. Um, but they don't always necessarily mean romantic. Third party could be like your mom. It could be your sister. It can be your brother. It could be your best friend. It could just be like a coworker that's real fucking nosy. You know, a third party just means a third person, okay? A person who places their nose and gets that brown shit on it, okay? Because they place it where they don't belong, all right? So just keep that in mind for those of you like, oh my God, I'm being cheated on. That might not be the case. Don't jump to conclusions, all right? You would know. Your soul would know. All right, it says take a chance on love. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever, okay? Ooh. And we've got look into your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. And then we also have listen with your heart. You are listening to what is being said to you, but you need to listen with a loving heart. So be more compassionate and loving, okay? Back to what you love is on the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> And it says your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. The path is now clear, okay? Um, and we are in Leo season. We are in August now. We just got over Mercury retrograde. We just had that black moon here, which is like super powered to charge us into the future, okay? Um, be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible, all right? So Aries, this was for you. I have no idea what I'm even going to title your video, to be honest. I mean, I don't know how to put this in a cool way. Um, I think I'm just going to be like third party situations. I'm not even sure. I'll figure it out. Anyways, Aries, I love you. Remember that you are infinite, multidimensional beings having a temporary human experience. Your internal reality, your thoughts are always going to reflect externally, okay? The universe is always going to mirror back what you want towards you. You are limitless. You are lovable. You are worthy of so much. I send many, many, many blessings and so much healing your way, okay? Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.